How's it going there guys? I'm currently outside freezing my nads off because <laughs> it's just one of those nights where I can't stay inside. The skies are really good tonight and uh, I've decided I'm going to take the opportunity to get the Mac 180 out and do a little bit of planetary just using Sharp Cap Pro um, and it's live stacking feature so I'm going to spin the camera around. It's going to be bad camera work so do bear with me but I'll show you what I've been up to and hopefully you'll find it interesting. All right, so as I said, you can see it's just on the TC40 tripod right there, powered by a power bank, and just aligned on Jupiter. Now, there is a problem tonight. We are looking through, if I could try and get this to focus, it's not going to do a very good job, but we are looking through some clouds right now. It's going to continue hunting, but basically, all I've been doing, if you can just see Jupiter on the screen right here, which is just a sharp cap live view. Uh, I've been centering things up using the little handset just over here. So, you know, making small adjustments with that. Squeeze it into view. Get it aligned as close as reasonable. So, uh, you know, turning off that crosshair, making sure it's focused, which it is. I've already just rolled it through focus. I can do it once more for you live. So I'm just going to take it slightly out and through and then roll it back into focus. And, you know, just like that, we've hit focus. If it would work once again. Um, I'm using live stacking within SharpCap for planetary purposes right now and I'm finding honestly it works rather well so uh, these are my current settings for it and I'm just making it do a 500 stack filtering out the best 35% of frames um, kind of these are my wavelets for it right now so if I just show you those really big apologies for the shoddy camera work on this one but i'm just having a lot of fun and i wanted to find a way to actually share it with you guys but you know look at this popping up this is from a mac 180 the amount of detail on display already from this thing is absolutely mad um i, I th you know i think most people would be happy getting planetary images like that so i'm just taking snapshots keeping an eye on it and uh, waiting really for if we take another shot moments like now where we're just kind of in a thin cloud ideally outside of all the cloud but yeah the mighty mark is uh, striking once again take a look at that this is just 500 frames taking it really quite a high gain too when the clouds go, um, I am able to use a lower gain than the one that's over here right now. So you can see I'm currently using 400 gain and 40 millisecond exposures. Um, I could get by with either lower exposure time or like 350 gain, 300 gain and get an equivalent brightness image once those clouds pass. Um, but right now I'm just doing what I can do with it, you know what I mean? And I'm finding it. As I've said, quite a lot of fun. So, yeah, I'm not going to keep you on too long with this. If you are in the market, I think, for a grab-and-go planetary scope, you could do a lot worse than a Mac 180. Um, I would advise, though, you'll know it's covered in silver foil. It really does need wrapping in that kind of stuff. Um, some form of reflective wrap is so important to these things because without it you're just going to be chasing temperature changes all night long it is a bit of a nightmare well guys uh, that's a very very brief video <laughs> i realize but i'm just having fun out here with the mark like i said and i want to share it with you a little bit um massive apologies for the terrible camera work on this one but it is what it is so yeah until the next time click guys